Welcome to a brief introduction to the TV series, Three's Company. If you're a fan of classic Hollywood actors, you're in for a treat. Stick around because there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts about the show that you won't want to miss. Now, when it comes to the actors in this series, who was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. The show burst onto screens in the late 70s, bringing laughter and entertainment to audiences worldwide. Starring John Ritter, Joyce DeWitt, and Suzanne Somers, the trio follows the comedic misadventures of roommates living in a Santa Monica apartment. With witty humor and memorable characters, it quickly became a beloved classic. But amidst the laughs, there are moments that tug at the heartstrings. Is there a particular scene or moment in the series that has left a lasting impression on you? Share your thoughts with us. Now, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this series? Whether it's a funny anecdote or a heartfelt connection, we'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going. Stay tuned for more fun facts and insights about the show. Don't miss out on all the excitement. Keep watching for more and remember to share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Your feedback matters to us. The TV series Three's Company, which aired in the late 1970s, garnered a mixed but generally positive response from viewers. While many found it entertaining, pleasant, and funny, others noted that it didn't quite reach the level of other classic sitcoms due to some weak writing. Nevertheless, the show's star, John Ritter, was widely praised for his comedic talent. Some viewers appreciated the show for its portrayal of a more innocent era, albeit one that attempted to push boundaries with its risque premise of a man living with two women and the comedic situations that ensued from this setup. The performances of actors like John Ritter and Norman Fell were particularly lauded, with Fell's ability to break the fourth wall noted as a highlight. The departure of Suzanne Somers, who played one of the main characters, was seen as a loss by some fans, but her replacements were deemed adequate, ensuring that the dynamic of the show remained intact. However, opinions diverged when it came to subsequent cast changes, particularly with the introduction of a new character named Terry, whose overly intelligent persona didn't resonate with all viewers. Despite these fluctuations in quality, the show maintained a dedicated fan base, and its popularity led to the creation of spin-off series such as The Ropers and Three's a Crowd. Some fans even clamored for a reunion of the original cast. Overall, Three's Company is remembered fondly by many as a humorous reflection of life in the 1970s with memorable characters and comedic moments that continue to entertain audiences to this day. In the 1980-1981 season, tensions arose within the cast and crew of the series. Suzanne Somers, seeking a substantial salary increase and part ownership, frequently missed work when her demands were rejected. John Ritter and Joyce DeWitt, co-stars of the show, refused to work alongside Somers. Consequently, Chrissy, Somers' character, was largely absent from the season, appearing only briefly in tag scenes at the episode's ends. These scenes were filmed separately to avoid interaction between Summers and the rest of the cast. Ultimately, Summers was fired and Chrissy was written out of the show. Audra Lindley, the oldest cast member born in 1918, was the first to pass away in 1997. Norman Fell, her on-screen husband, followed 14 months later, despite being younger than Lindley. Don Knotts, just four months younger than Fell, died over seven years after him. John Ritter, the youngest cast member, passed away just six days before his 55th birthday. During the final season, plans for a spin-off series called Three's A Crowd were underway. However, tensions flared when Joyce DeWitt inadvertently stumbled upon auditions for the spin-off's lead role. This revelation caused discord on set with John Ritter and the rest of the cast feeling disappointed about the show's continuation without them. Joyce Dewitt and Suzanne Somers, former cast members of Three's Company, reunited for a YouTube event after 30 years of not speaking. They blamed the show's producers, including Mickey Ross, for Somers' firing, citing sexism. Dewitt called them pigs, while Somers described the producers as abusive. Priscilla Barnes also labeled the experience as one of the worst in her life. John Ritter is the only actor besides him to portray the same character in all three shows Three's Company, The Ropers, and Three's a Crowd. Summers reunited with her former co-star Joyce Dewitt on the talk of show breaking through for the first time since her firing in 1981 following her demand for a significant pay raise. Joyce Dewitt, the first cast member to miss an episode, staged a sick out during season three over a salary dispute. ABC tried to retract a promised raise, leading DeWitt to call in sick, 
citing being sick at heart, sick in the soul. After a meeting with the network president, her raise was reinstated. However, upon her attempted return to work, the script had been reworked, leaving no time for changes, resulting in her absence from that episode. The apartment's address changed three times throughout the series. The rift between a co-star, Suzanne Summers, and another cast member ended shortly before his sudden death. In the early stages of Three's Company, Suzanne Zenner was initially cast as Samantha, the blonde roommate. However, the role was later recast with Susan Lanier as Chrissy. Shortly after, Denise Gallick was set to star but became unavailable, leading producers to hire Suzanne Summers as the third Chrissy. Five seasons into the show, Suzanne Summers demanded a substantial salary increase and ownership stake, which the producers and ABC rejected. This led to Summers missing three episodes due to alleged injury, causing costly rewrites and tension among the cast. Ultimately, the producers reduced her role and banned her from set, leading to her dismissal and damaging her reputation in the industry. Summers admitted she would have preferred to stay for the duration of the show despite the conflict, but also expressed gratitude for the appreciation from fans. During her time on Three's Company, Joyce DeWitt wore an auburn wig over her natural hair for her role as Helen Roper. She continued this in the spin-off show The Ropers. In 1979, Joyce missed an episode called Stanley's Hotline when the network tried to retract a promised raise. Feeling upset, she called in sick. After a meeting with the network president, her raise was reinstated. However, when she was ready to return to work, the producers had already rewritten the script with recurring guest star Anne Skedeen taking over Joyce's lines. The final episode of the series aired at the start of the 1984-1985 season, serving as the lead-in to its spin-off, Three's a Crowd. Joyce praised Ann Skedeen's work, considering her one of her favorite guest stars. In an episode titled Jack Moves Out from Season 3, Jordan Charney, known for his recurring role as Jack's boss, Mr. Angelino, portrayed Larry's boss. In a special Cafe Mom interview, Joyce Dewitt praised Suzanne Summers, stating, You were fabulous, and I didn't think they were going to fire you. Summers expressed her surprise, to which Dewitt responded, Well, you went up against those big boys, reflecting on their experiences working together. During Summers' clash with the producers at the beginning of the fifth season, scripts had to be adjusted. Most of the time, Chrissy's lines were reassigned to Mr. Furley. Lucio Ball, a big fan of the show, appeared in Three's Company during its fifth season in 1982. Hosting a special called The Best of Three's Company, Ball added her own style to the popular sitcom. She only hosted this one show. Her presence made the episode feel nostalgic and funny. During interviews, Suzanne Summers, one of the show's beloved actors, talked about what happened behind the scenes. She said that Joyce Dewitt, another important person on the show, wasn't happy about special cameras focusing only on Summers and John Ritter. This left Dewitt feeling left out. It shows that sometimes things aren't perfect behind the scenes, even on a TV show. Throughout the series, Ralph Furley's brother, Bart, was talked about a lot, but rarely seen. Then, in one memorable episode, Bart finally appeared. This made fans wonder about Bart's role in the Furley family. Looking back, the relationships and dynamics both on and off screen made Three's Company special. The show balanced humor with tension and surprises like the mystery of Bart. That's what still keeps people interested. As we learn more about the show, we see the magic on screen and the challenges behind the scenes. And so, the story of Three's Company shows us the laughter, friendship, and problems that made it a classic. It's a show that people still love, made by talented people behind and in front of the camera all.